the Jarl received word from his friend Thorsten, who is in need of aid in repairing several buildings on his property, recently damaged by a strong storm. With the seasons changing and planting season coming up fast, he could use all the extra muscle and hands that he can get. He's one of Jarl's most trusted friends and allies, so he immediately agrees to bring some of his strongest men to make the work go quickly. Ah, there you are, my flicker. I just got word that my man Thorsten requires aid. You remember him? He was at a hand fasting. Eh, yeah. won't I introduce you to her at the end of the feast? I will be gone for several days, maybe a week. Shouldn't take too long. You want to come with me? Well, I don't know, dearest one. We aren't taking a carriage. We need to move quickly. I planned just to take the horses and the men. And I will just be sleeping on the ground, nothing too comfortable. We need to travel light to keep our speed up. All right, if you're certain, just don't complain about the lack of accommodations. You've traveled that way before with your parents. I guess that shouldn't surprise me. I. Sometimes forget you truly are stronger than you look, being the shield maiden's daughter. <sighs> All right, wife. You may come with me this time. It will be safe enough traveling through our own lands. I'm sure Thorsten's wife and mother would love the company while us men are busy. Pack lightly. Just necessities. All right. We leave at first light. The next morning, the Jarl and a dozen of his strongest men gather in the yard outside the keep. Sunlight is just coming over the horizon. Early morning mist mixes with the breath of the horses as they anxiously await their journey. Clinking of armor and groaning of leather and beasts are all that can be heard in the early moments of the day. Good morning, wife. Here, give me your bag, and I will tie it with mine. Sorry, my love, but I have not yet had a saddle made appropriate for your size. You will ride with me for now. Kami Balder is the greatest of our horses and a true friend. That's right. Let him see your hand and get your scent. He will know and love you, Flicker. You can probably smell my scent on you as well. <laughs> he will know you are mine. All right. <clears throat> Up you go. We need to get moving. <laughs> Don't worry, wife. I will behave myself, mostly. <laughs> it is hard to keep my hands from roaming when I have you so close. <clears throat> I will do my best, though, with my men so close. I don't intend to let them know what I do to you. You are all mine. They have been riding for hours. The sun is high, nearly midday. Just when the Jarl decides they should stop and rest the horses and have a small meal of rations, he feels his wife stiffen in his arms. The men have been jovial, not worried for safety within their own lands. But something is off. He realizes just moments before chaos erupts. What is it, Flicker? 
What has you alarmed? <sighs> the birds are quiet. You are right. I hadn't noticed. Something is wrong. Men, prepare yourselves. Something is here. <laughs> The wind seems to change as arrows rain down from the treetops along the road. Shields, quickly! The men get into formation, encircling the Jarl and the Fru to keep them safe as the fighting starts. Do you have your dagger I gave you on our wedding night? Ah, oh, good. Thank Odin, I married a beautiful and smart wife. Whatever happens, my dearest one, stay close and use that dagger to protect yourself if it comes to it, all right? The fighting became intense, but the half men were well skilled. He was grateful. He had decided to bring his strongest men with him. At one point, he realized he had become separated from his wife and one of the assailants was quickly approaching what he mistakenly assumed to be a helpless woman. Go now, protect your fru! He yelled to his men to go to her aid, but she really didn't need it. She quickly dispatched her would-be attacker with such skill and grace she instantly won the admiration of all of her husband's men. Oh, my love, let me look at you. You aren't injured, are you? Hold still. Let me make sure. I need to see for myself. No, no, you are perfect. Thank the gods. Oh, you were the most beautiful thing I've ever seen fighting as you were. Freya herself. Orm, what is the final word? Oh, thank the gods. Only small injuries, no losses for us. Who were they? Did you find anything out? You caught one? Alive? Where is he? I demand answers, who dares attack me, my men, and most importantly, my wife on my own lands. No. No, you stay here and help see to the injured. I don't want you to see what must be done to get answers. You are strong and brave. But there is no reason for you to see something like that. I won't be long. Take me to this bastard. I demand answers. And then we will be done with him. You. How dare you attack me, my wife, and my men on my own land. Who the fuck are you? Who sent you? After much persuasion, the captive finally began to speak. So, Vidar sent you to attack and murder my wife. He heard the prophecy and wanted to stop us from succeeding, huh? Oh, that's just like him, the coward. So he found out I was going to aid Thorsten and thought my keep would be left unguarded and my wife would be an easy target. He just happened to see she was with us and thought it would be an even easier victory, did you? Ha! You greatly underestimated my men. And you seriously underestimated the strength of my beautiful wife. Did you not know? Did he keep it from you? She is the daughter of the great shield maiden, Agnes Ironarm. Yes. 
I thought he may have left that part out. She may look little and defenseless, but no. She was trained by one of the strongest women uh, to ever live. It seems we will be having a bit of a chat with our old friend Vidar very soon. We are done here. End him. We need to get back on the road soon. Come. Wife. We must leave a token of gratitude to Odin and to Freya for our victory and for your safety today before we leave. The Jarl led his wife towards the forest where he found the perfect tree. Taking his dagger, he cut one of his braids and a small braid from his wife's hair and using one of her silk ribbons, tied them together to hang from the tree, as together they prayed a prayer of thanksgiving, and he promised to make a larger sacrifice once they return safely home. Eric King, Tatari, Bainscom, Eric Valda. When I walk, it's in the shoes. I chose. Come, my love. We must ride quickly and get you safely to Thorsten's keep. Now we know who our enemy is, we must make plans. Vidar will know my wrath for even thinking about harming you, my dearest one. You have truly honored me with your bravery today and have won the respect of all of my men who are present and saw your skill. You are a true treasure, and I will protect you with my life. You are mine, my heart. Mm -hmm.